Hello everyone, this is Hope Espar here, doing a little bit of a strange commentary. This is going to be an incomplete game. I'm um, just going to cut this off uh, as it nears the end. Uh, so this is going to be a very chaotic game. Um, things are going to swing against my favor, or the favor of my division, my team, and a lot of decisions are going to be made on the fly. Uh, ultimately, we do lose this game, even though I think that the decisions that I made could not really have been any better. Uh, okay, so we I'm in a triple div here, uh, with all three of us not being in the climb momentarily. There is a hero's div on our team, and they're out on seaside. Uh, heroes is a pretty good clan, their players tend to play pretty well. Uh, they're the Musashi and the Kronstadt out at C. And we are here at B. Uh, and so our destroyers are at B and C. So the Heroes Div is backing up the Lo Yang at C. So I'm hoping that they can hold their flank there. Uh, and, uh, Batam, very honorable. And our uh, destroyer in our division is going to push into B. Uh, and so I, this works out fairly well for me um, because of the island cover and my position, my starting position here, uh, where I'm basically directly behind this island uh, that's in front of B here. It gives me the opportunity to sail in nice and close where the turpits is at its most effective. Um, I only have a 10 point captain on my turpits, so my secondaries are not going to be that great. Um, this captain is running CE, a concealment expert right now, so I don't have AFT or manual secondaries or anything like that. And uh, to be honest, uh, without IFHE, um, the effectiveness is going to be limited, and IFHE is actually not always the greatest uh, pick for the turpits. It's only effective against certain ships and not effective against other ships so it's I wouldn't really recommend taking it probably okay so I've just warned Bannum that the other team has a lot of radars and that he should be careful going in which I'm showing you now here they have two crunched at a Baltimore and an Atlanta so they have four radars uh, and a couple long-range radars uh, on the crunch at. and he's saying that he's he trains to dodge Moscow uh, meaning that he deals with Moscow radars okay so we've picked up the Cossack in B I've managed to sneak, sneak up nice and close undetected. Um, I'm going to start turning here, hoping that I get a shot on the enemy Cossack. And I've just changed my ammo to HE, so I'm loading HE, hoping to get a shot at this Cossack. I'm waiting for him to appear. So now I'm detected by some plane from somewhere, I don't know where it is. And immediately I see three people are shooting at me. I am going to have to start turning away because I'm going to expect that one of those three is possibly torpedoes uh, from the Cossack or someone else. And uh, Waiting for him. There he is. I'm going to take my time here, try to line up my shot carefully and put them out. That was actually aimed very well. And if you look at the way they landed, they landed... Unfortunately, they landed in front of the Cossack, behind the Cossack, to the left of the Cossack, and to the right of the Cossack, meaning I aimed that well, but being the turpits, just none of them hit. I'm going to try to get another shot on the Cossack before he disappears behind the island, but it's, too, it's already too late. But I'm going, to try, I'm going to try a turret anyway. I only fired one turret because I kind of knew that it was too late. Um, all this time, my secondaries were put on the Cossack, but I didn't really expect them to land because I don't have manual secondaries on this ship. I'm going to get rid of my HE shells now and switch to AP, but I'm not just going to reload. I'm going to fire them at the Leon there uh, because the Cossack is now behind the island. I'm not going to get a shot on him. If you look at the mini-map, the enemy is pushing really hard into B. They have three battleships, it looks like. They're the Atlanta as well, so they have a radar cruiser and three battleships something like that it could be even more i can't actually even tell there's so many that i can't ships there that i can't even tell what's there i try a shot again at the cossack i can only reuse my rear turrets because of these torpedoes coming i don't know if they're going to run out before they reach me they do but i wasn't sure so i had to assume that they were going to cut this far i only use my rear turrets i managed to hit them twice uh, with two ap shells i'm going to have to start cutting away because of the, just the sheer number of ships in B, 
A lot of them are tier 8 battleships. I have to get out of here. They also have the Atlanta, which is going to try to burn me down, uh, which I do actually end up on fire. I damage con it immediately because if you look at the ships in B, the enemy ships in B right now, the Massachusetts, Tirpitz, and Richelieu are all likely to fire um, AP at me. The Atlanta has actually ducked in behind the island, so I don't expect to be lit on fire again. Uh, I'm out of range of the secondaries of the Massachusetts as well, so I don't expect to be lit on fire again, so that's why I damn con that so quickly. I'm trying to do damage to the Richelieu. He is fairly sideways to me before he gets behind the island. I, I'm still cutting away now. I'm basically withdrawing next to Kraken here. Um, I really have no choice. I have to come back here, right? Like, there's just too many ships at B. Uh, I'm going to kind of come back here with Kraken. Hopefully, do some damage. My guns aren't going to be that effective at this range. Um, but I really can't get any closer, right? So there's HE threats, there's torpedoes. I have to come back here. At this point, I'm assessing my options. Uh, a is secure, so I can't drive straight. I'm going to go into Kraken, so I'm going to have to either go past him and then turn left and then bring myself into A, which doesn't make any sense. There's no enemy presence there. Uh, we have an Indian Indianapolis, a St. Louis, and an Amagi there. It's secure. Uh, I'm obviously not going to just drive straight back away from out of the action. So I'm far enough away now that I feel comfortable turning in. I'm going to start turning around the other way. I'm going to turn starboard. I'm going to circle back around to B. But I'm going to wait for my guns to turn before I do. A little bit. I'm still a little close. The enemy is advancing for it now. I can see that. So I'm going to get a little further away from them until my turrets turn. I don't think I'm an angle uh, to effectively use AP against the Massachusetts. Um, so I'm going to... He's on fire so already, so I'm going to use HE, see if I can get a second fire on him. Um, both... Krakens, Richelieu, and my Tirpitz have 15 inch guns. Uh, if the Massachusetts is sufficiently angled, uh, we won't be able to do much damage to him with AP. And looking at the mini map, from the angle that Kraken has on him, he's probably shooting HE at him. So I'm going to try to shoot HE as well. Uh, if we're both shooting HE, we stand a much better chance of getting fires and multiple fires burning on the Massachusetts. So that's why I haven't been shooting HE. Okay, I've had to fall back a little further even, but I feel safe enough now. And I've, we, you know, some of the other ships, enemy ships have popped back up on the mini map. I feel that I can start turning back in. Now, if you look at Kraken there, he still has more health than I do. Uh, so I've kind of wanted to get a little further out before selling back in. I also wanted to come across the map a little bit so I could use these islands as cover. Um, as I previously said, the Tirpitz works best at close range. Uh, the dispersion gets really bad at long ranges and I lose a lot of penetration. Uh, I didn't want to sail directly back and just eat all this damage before I could get close enough to do any effective damage. Um, I now feel safe to start driving straight back and as you can see that's what I'm doing. I'm pointing my ship uh, back towards B. I'm angled towards the far side of the island in front of me, hoping that I can use it for more cover uh, as I come in. I now see that the Richelieu and the Atlanta are heading towards A. Uh, I'm going to try to help them out a bit by putting some damage on the Richelieu before he gets in there. Um, we've lost... A a ship or two at A, but we still have an Indianapolis and a Namagi. And the Hipper is heading in that way as well. And Kraken in my division is still there. So I think they should be okay. Uh, I heard the Richelieu a little bit. That should help them out a lot. I think that we have enough forces there to kind of deal with them, hopefully, for now. The enemy still has so many ships at B. Uh, and very recently, unfortunately, the Heroes Division at Sea, the, we lost the Musashi. So initially they had a lot of ships there. I was hoping that they would be able to hold that flank. They did initially take Sea, but 
with the loss of the Musashi, it's going to be difficult now. I don't really anticipate them being able to hold it, which is unfortunate. So now it's getting a little desperate. Uh, they have a Massachusetts, a Leon, a Turpitz here. I feel that I really have to do as much damage here as possible, especially since I don't expect uh, C to hold. And I do expect that Kronstadt and Musashi to possibly come causes issues in the future. I'm really hoping that our A group can hold there. And they just killed the airliner, which I expected the Indianapolis and Hipper to be able to do. So now basically they, they have a Richelieu there and possibly a, a Baltimore and Shores. We have an Amagi, an Indianapolis and Hipper there. And eventually, I'm, if, if, if need be, I think Kraken can also position and reposition himself to help out there. So I'm hoping that they can hold A and eventually kill everything there and then push back to help me out here at B if I can't deal with everyone here. Okay, so the Turpets, now the enemy Turpets is coming out. I'm going to have to deal with them. I was trying to do as much damage to the Leon as possible previously because I can overmatch him and so can Kraken. And I didn't have anyone else to shoot at. Now the Turpets has come out. I know I have to deal with him quickly because I also wanted to be able to deal with the Massachusetts so that he stops harassing Kraken if he is and the people at A. And now I can see what I feared earlier is happening. The Musashi is pushing this way now, and that's going to be troublesome. So I'm trying to deal with the Turpets as quickly as possible. I put Torps out, and I'm shooting at him. I'm just trying to kill him off. And there we go. We managed to get him taken care of with the Torpedo. Okay, now I see the Kronstadt and the Musashi. On my left. I, ha I want to get out of here as quickly as possible. I realize that by turning in like this, uh, I might take some damage from the Musashi. I'm hoping to get behind his island as quickly as possible. Deal with, the, uh, deal with the Massachusetts and then go back out and deal with the Musashi if I can. It's asking a lot. So I've just dealt with the Turpits. Now it's time to deal with the Massachusetts. He's still got 10,000 and change health. I've got less than that. So I'm firing at him, hoping that I can finish him off. And I do. Okay, so really quickly, I switched my attention to the Musashi. I have to do this. Holy shit, he has a lot of health. Okay, so I put my torpedoes out. I realized, so if you just saw there, I just put launch one torpedo and then I went back to my torpedoes to see how much time was left in the reload for my uh, starboard torpedoes. Because, man, he's got so much health. Those torpedoes and my guns are not going to do the trick. I'm hoping to get, yes, two torpedoes. Not bad, 17,000. I'm just checking my, my torpedoes. They're reloaded and they're in action. So hopefully I can, yes, Citadels. Perfect. Two citadels on him, and torpedoes are out. Those torpedoes look pretty good. Two more hits, and the bastard is still alive. Finally, he goes down. Okay, now unfortunately, the Akizuki has shown up as well. I did not expect the Akizuki to be here. Okay, so I land a hit on him. Two overpens, actually. Three overpens. And I've got my secondaries going on him. This is not looking good. Okay, that's about the best that I could have done there. Looking back at the mini map now, we can see that what I was hoping to happen with A winning the flank and then coming back to help me did not happen. This is largely because the Imagi did not engage properly and if he had both the damage he did and the tanking that he could have done could have saved possibly some of the other ships there and they could have probably killed these two cruisers, the Leon and the Richelieu, and then they could have come back to help me. Unfortunately, that did not happen, so we lost the game.